What's up, Niblets? Welcome to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Don't know why I said Niblets. I'm confused. Stroke. Um, yeah, so this is our third game here, Brotherhood. Um, it's going to be the last one we do, because I already have Revolutions done and uploaded to my channel. Um, let me think. Yep, um, this is it. This could... I'm pretty sure this one's... Hmm, let me think. It's been a long time since I played this, like, there's one I started, I last played in 2011, nearly a year ago, so I haven't played this in a little while, let's delete that, let's start a new one, I'm gonna call it what we've called the other ones, cause we like structure. Okay, here we go. Flashback. I don't think anyone ever expects to wake up one morning and find themselves caught in the middle of a war between two secret organizations. I know I did. But here I am. On one side are the Templars, better known these days as Abstergo Industries. They're in the business of control. Politics, economics, technology. They won't stop until every single one of us serves them. Literally. Fighting against them are the Assassins, a group dedicated to safeguarding humanity's free will. I was born into the Brotherhood. A couple of weeks ago, the Templars found me. They took me prisoner, strapped me into a machine they built and put me to work. It's called an Animus. That's where I spent most of my time. Exploring the memories of my ancestors, discovering entire lives locked deep inside my DNA. First, I revisited the life of Altair Ibn La'ahad, an assassin from the Crusades. The Templars wanted the location of something known as a Piece of Eden, an ancient artifact capable of bending people to their will. Once the Templars had what they were looking for, they decided my usefulness had come to an end. But Lucy saved me. Lucy. When things were at their worst, she revealed herself to be an assassin and helped me escape. I was hoping that would be the end of my misadventures. But we were just getting started. Back into another Animus I went. Now, I'm reliving the memories of Ezio Auditore da Firenze, my ancestor from the Renaissance, searching for a path forward. Through the bleeding effect, I'm becoming an assassin in more than just name. It will come in handy as the Templars prepare to enslave us all. They found us. They've crashed our hideout and we're fleeing the scene looking for a place to hide. Only there isn't any, and time is running short. My name is Desmond Miles, and this is my story. So there you go, there's a lovely little summary of what happened over the past two games. Um, I think there's more, you'll hear talking now here, I think. Oh no, this is Memory Sequence 9, is it? Or something like that. The broken one. Big fucking battle. <clears throat> oh. Mario Alvitore, let me hear. Oh shit. Fucking Mario. Oh, X. Oh my god. Oh god damn it. That is a lot of people. Definitely a lot of people down there. Jesus. Ah, oh, and there's a big castle. Ezio, don't look into the sun, Ezio. Don't. Oh. Why does he always do that? Jesus. Uh, Rebecca, what's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. And it just kind of throws us right to the end of Assassin's Creed 2. Desmond. What? Who is Desmond? I don't understand. Please wait. I have so many questions. Like, why am I wearing the black suit? I didn't unlock it. 
It kind of assumes that you've done everything in the last game and I think we're wearing the armor of Altair at the minute. So, <clears throat> just kind of throws us right back here into the, the bottom of the Vatican. Well, underneath the Vatican. Oh, there's your man's robes. He melted into the ground or something. <clears throat> Rodrigo Borgia. But his staff is still here and so is the Apple of Eden. No, wait, is it? No, the Apple of Eden's gone. Oh. What did you do, Ezio? Well, there you go. That's gone forever. Good job. <clears throat> uh oh. I thought the walls were closing in on us there for a second. Got slightly worked. Who the fuck is that? Better in the hands oh, of Mario! Than in the hands of man. Mario! Uncle. What can I say? We sent a single man against an entire army. I was worried. Quick, climb up. We have to get out of here. Yes, we do. Um, what is it? Eagle vision, I think, to find my path. There we go. Oh yeah, right back into it. Eagle Vision, use Eagle Vision to herp it there, but I didn't get to read it all. <clears throat> so, now we escape from Roma. Roma. Hello. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. And I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. Hell yeah. Fucking love you, Mario. You know what? Fucking love you. Is this the Yeah, this is the right way. Oh yeah, all the priests start shouting abuse at us, I'm pretty sure. Che cosa fate qui? Assassini! God will see you pay for your crimes! You have desecrated the sanctity of this holy place! You condemn what you do not understand. We must go, Ezio. Now. Sorry, guys. I don't have time to argue. Did he, did he just shed bullies? Excuse me. Run away. When priests go wild. Well, monks, I guess they are. Did Rodrigo manage to hurt Not so much priests. Barely. My armor blunted his attack. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we got stabbed. Look at that thing. <gasps> I just realized. But I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh shit. What are you doing? Oh yeah, is this can you chain attacks in this one? Oh you can, yes. Nice. This is where fighting gets like super easy and super freaking awesome to watch with all of the chains. Like, well, I just got like a six or seven man chain there. What can I say? Skills. I got the skills. I got them skills to pay them bills. I don't know. Where do you go? Go down it. Oh. Sorry, Mario, I was looking around at my surroundings. There you are, okay. Ezio! Nice. Nice, uncle. Let's go. Oh my god, why are you so slow, uncle? Why are you so slow? I know I haven't been drinking, lady. Oh my god, <laughs> what the fucker? He cut me off in midair, Jesus. <clears throat> Welcome to the Auditory Family Memoirs. Okay. I hope you know where we're going, Uncle. Oh, look at that flag. That is a big flag. I want a big fancy flag like that. Oh, you guys want to go? 
Let's chain together a uh, hidden blade attack. Oh god. Oh, did I just stab him through his, like, top of his skull? You know, I don't, I don't even care. Not even mad. Let's go, uncle. Let's go. Oh, civilians. Civilian, civilian, civilian. What'd you call me? Did you call me an idiot? Do you want me to come down there and beat you up good, sir? I'm not even afraid of your harsh, harsh words. We've got... Well, we don't have as much money as we did. I think we had, like, what? 80 grand when we went in at the end of Assassin's Creed 2? the hell is this? Are they trying to fool us? <coughs> huh? Are they trying to fool us? Okay. This kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed 2 where you climb the tower with your brother. That is a big ass flag. It's... Oh my god, I can't see it now. Look at Rome. Oh, I got the apple of Eden. Oh my god. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Give it to me. You can do with it as you will later. Bene. Jump! Oh my god! Ubisoft presents. Da -na 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 -na. Assassin's Creed Brotherhood! Oh my god, look at that eagle flying in the background. The sign of the assassin. There's another one to the right, it's really far away. Oh my god! The buildings are falling down! Oh shit! Loading screen. Illegal actions will make you notorious. When your notorious guards will be actively looking for you. Well, guards are actively looking for you, I should say. Because <clears throat> I can't read. Montergioni, January 1500. Jeez, Montergioni looks beast now that I've upgraded everything. And then Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago. And another that oh, yeah, come. the 2012 I'm conspiracy the within Assassin's Creed. Then we need not worry about it. See. Perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? Oh. What the fuck is that? <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, and it is now customary for you to fire cannonballs at visitors. My apologies. We only installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. Thank God they're bad shots. I'm super glad they are. Well. You got a lot of new flags. Did you get like a good deal on them, Mario? You got considerably more flags than when I was here last. Banners and shit. Is this what there? Can you ride inside in this one, mate? Yeah, I think you can. Now you can actually take horses inside cities in these new games. <clears throat> it's awesome. Here. Welcome back, Ezio. Hey, how you doing? Ezio. Hey. Hello! Bonjour. It's like a parade. It's good to be home. <laughs> this what place just keeps getting better. We're, we're, we're famous Thanks Mario. Yeah, now that I've upgraded everything. Brother. Claudia. It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forley is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Oh, is she really then? Here? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything there. Steal yourself, Ezio. They will have many questions. Many, many, many questions. The Contessa, I look forward to seeing her this evening. Yay! Flory. Or Forley. We then oh we're going out to help people. Oh I'm sorry, excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Remember me? I upgraded all your shops. You guys owe me everything. Let's go out and help this guy catch Mario's horse, I'm pretty sure. 
I remember these first few missions. <coughs> Not so much the later ones. What did you do? Oh shit. Do not despair. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. I know, I know. Fuck you, horse. Come back. Horse, eh? Stay. S stay. Oh. Come here. I got, I've got a present for you, horse. Get a present. Oh my god. Oh, I wonder. Come here. Yay, we got it. Let's go. This horse is pretty fast. I like that horse. Pity it's Mario's horse. God damn it. Here. Grazie, Ezio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. That is good news. Arrivederci, Ezio. Yeah, hey, look at us catching horses by dusk. And killing people at all other times of the day. Oh yeah, these are awesome now. Which awesome. Which awesome. Talk to these guys, help them with the cannons. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, Signor Ezio. May I try one? Yes, but go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. We do not want to waste your time. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Oh, damn. Mercenaries. Where is this guy? Oh. Okay, so... Um, is he in here? Oh, yeah, he's drunk. Jeez. Come on, Gary, let's go. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno momento. No one else will touch my cannons. There we go. Come on. Come on over. Walk it off. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to <coughs> feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. We are only equipped with simple cannons now. But I got hold of a design from France. A hand cannon. Something called a wrought iron burner. Oh, really? Firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Now, come on. Come on over here and fix this. Where are you? Here he comes. Hmm. What kind of sword did I have? Pretty sure, yeah, it's Altair's sword. Oh, boy. For this. Oh, that looks pretty cool. Looks pretty badass. And then, dual lids. Double hidden what lids. Have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Boom. Oh yeah. I hit my targets. Who's next? Oh. Just in front of them. Oh, you're a funny guy. There's two grips. Boom. Oh, yeah. 
There's three. On door. Oh shit, are we getting near sword now? Okay. Now let's go over here for five. Five. Yeah. I know. I got six. I got six. I must go. Thanks for your help. No problem. If you hear the cannon tomorrow, do not worry. We will be practicing at dawn. Okay. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. Those guys are... They all love each other. They're all like best friends there. Jeez. Let me just check something really quick. My options and... HUD. No. Controls. Let me turn that down a little bit. Not too much. Just a tad. Now we'll go over and help this lady over here with her flowers. She needs help carrying flowers around the place. We're just. I always get stuck with this. Just the right guy to help her. The men in this town are no better than little. Hello. Need some help. Salve. So many flowers. Your husband must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to aid me. Let me see what I can do. Mm-hmm. There's that too. Back there, On I his way with the, the ladies. Oh. I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Oh, really? Am I invited? Hmm. To Claudia Auditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? I could tell the moment I saw you. No. no one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain Ezio Auditori himself would be impressed. Oh. oh. What do you know of Ezio? Claudia thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits her. From what I gather, he's distant. She is right. I have been. Oh. Oh no. You? <laughs> the party was intended to be a surprise. Promise you will not tell Claudia. I won't. What will you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get Ooh. there. Still got it, Ezio. You still got it. Um. Okay, so that's not the right place. For it. There we go. <laughs> oh, so did she carry all them up there by herself? Why did she need me? Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. Oh. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. Everything's happening tomorrow. God. I wonder where they're going to have the party in the villa. There's like no big rooms. Really. Where are we going now? We're going in the front door of the villa. I'll be quiet now and let these cutscenes play. I told you. Katarina. To what do I owe the pleasure of your presence here? I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Corley. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother! Machiavelli. It is done. Though not, I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. Combining the staff and the apple, I gained access to the vault. There, a moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy to befall mankind. In